Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to perform dimensionality reduction. So in this video, we are going to see like four different types of dimensionality reduction techniques. So the techniques are uh, PCA, LDA, TSNE and UMAP. So these are the four uh, techniques we are going to implement in order to do the dimensionality reduction. And for this example, I'm going to use uh, MNIST dataset. Uh, MNIST dataset is like a handwritten uh, digits dataset that is commonly used for basic deep learning project. Let's dive into the project now. First, uh, I will import the data. So from keras.datasets import MNIST. So this is the dataset. Let's load it. So it will be splitted into like train and test. So I'm gonna get only uh, train data. So that is enough for us. So this is one tuple and these two we don't need. Okay, this is underscore. It's like a temporary uh, variable. Now here mnest.load data. Okay, this is the data set and we will also check the shape. So print x dot shape and uh, y dot shape run this. Now the data set it's been uh, downloaded. I think it's around like 114 MB. So it will be completed uh, quickly. So this is the data set. Uh, we have around like 60,000 uh, samples for uh, uh, the input and the output. So this is the labels and this is the uh, 28 cross 28 uh, image pixel data. So we will just uh, convert it into like a, a 1D array. Like we are going to like flatten it. So I'm gonna just uh, flatten this data in order to get like a single dimensional array. So for this I'm gonna do x equals x dot reshape len of x this is just the number of samples and remaining i am just gonna flatten it and we will see the new shape here run this so this is the new shape now the data set has been loaded uh, let's dive into the main functions so we are going to implement uh, all the feature reduction techniques first i'm gonna go with uh, pca so before that i will import all the necessary modules for this so from sklearn dot decomposition import PCA from sklearn dot manifold import TSNE yes. and from sklearn dot discriminant analysis import linear discriminant analysis as LDA. This is just like a alias. And finally, we will implement UMAP. Okay, these are the modules we need. So first, I'm gonna go with the PCA. So we will just uh, go one by one. So I will create a new variable called XPCA xpca it can be small itself it's easy now pca of n components n components i'm gonna reduce it to like two dimension in order to vis visualize it so dot fit transform fit transform of x comma y sorry we just need only the input so this is like a unsupervised learning and after that we have to plot it so i'll say plot dot figure fix size fig size equals i can have like 20 comma 20 and after that i uh, will do the plotting so plot dot scatter of x pca of we will get all the rows and we will get the 
zeroth column so this is x axis and uh, similarly we will do the same for the y axis so this will be 1 and uh, finally we have to have the colors so that will be c equals y and uh, I think that will be enough Let's say plot dot show so this will just uh, reduce the data okay plot is not yet imported let's run this again now we got a big data with all the different colors and we also need to have that uh, legend let's see so i'll just run it in a separate cell we can also see the new shape so dot shape see from 784 uh, we have reduced it to like two dimension and let's plot it now and okay so this is somewhat bigger i'll just reduce it to 10 okay this is the whole data and as you can able to see it is like completely overlapping each color represents a particular uh, uh, digit so this green represents one digit and this yellow represents another digit and uh, this violet and uh, blue represents like each di each digit but in the 2D representation, uh, we can uh, clearly see uh, most of the digits are overlapping and some of the digits are grouped together like here, here in this violet and uh, here this is like dark violet uh, and here this light green, everything is like grouped together and even this uh, uh, yellow is also like uh, grouped together. So this is how the feature reduction works. So if you have large amount of data, you can able to use these techniques in order to reduce the number of dimensions uh, for training. And this can also be used for uh, visualization. So if you want to add legends, like if you want to label uh, these colors, you can add like this SC equals, I'm just going to store this scatter plot and add this line. So I'm just adding legends. If you are using some kind of for loop and uh, plotting the scatter plot means that will be different. So here I'm just uh, creating a, a list of labels that is zero to nine. And uh, let's run this. Now you can able to see the colors. So each color corresponds to a digit. So here you can able to see, I think uh, this is zero and this is uh, one. I can't clearly differentiate between the color because uh, most of them are like somewhat similar. This eight and nine are all uh, uh, clubbed together uh, because you can obviously see eight also have uh, a circle like uh, pattern and nine also have the circle like pattern. And uh, here six also will be having some kind of pattern. That's why these three are like overlapping to each other and three, two are all uh, overlapping here. So this is how the uh, visualization works now let's go for the next one i'm gonna go for lda so for lda we can do like this x lda equals lda of similarly and components it will be two and for lda we have to pass the output result that is the labels so this will be x and y and let's run this and after that we will just do the same plotting here instead of xpca we'll be just using uh, xlda okay i think uh, we have to wait for some time now yeah it's completed let's run this now again you can see this lda is producing some kind of a different results but still uh, some kind of overlapping you can clearly see and the grouping is also good so here uh, you can see eight and nine actually actually like close to each other and if you also have like six also is uh, near to eight so and uh, these digits like 
zero and one is completely opposite i guess and two is in between three is uh, somewhere in behind because uh, the colors are overlapping but at least uh, compared to this this has like a, a less number of overlapping so this is somewhat better than pca now let's go for the next one that is uh, tsne t sne okay for this i'm going to use tsne equals tsne of dot fit transform of x run this and let's copy this and uh, paste it here again replace the variables okay that's pretty much done let's also run this so this is taking some time in the meantime we will just uh, create the syntax for uh, u map also so u map and for u map i'll just say x underscore u map equals u map of here we have to specify some parameters so first it will be n neighbors i'll just say 10 so this is just for the grouping and minimum distance equal 0.1 we can also go with the default parameters so that's not a problem metric equals correlation and now dot fit transform of x so this will be done and after that again we have to use the same plotting just replace this okay that's pretty much done from our side but we have to wait uh, for tsne to complete the processing is taking uh, so much long time uh, compared to the above two modules those two are like pretty quick for uh, 60000 samples uh, the processing has been done like instantly but it's taking like more than a minute for uh, tsne it's wait for some time and after that uh, we will uh, see how the results are going to be so i just ran this uh, tsne for over an hour but uh, it didn't give us a result so i just uh, tweaked few things so i just uh, used n jobs equals minus 1 to utilize all the cores in my cpu and i also filtered out like few samples like i am taking the first uh, uh, 10k samples for uh, quicker results if you use all the 60k samples means it's taking uh, more than an hour but uh, still it's not uh, giving us the result so for uh, tsne if you want to utilize mints uh, you can uh, go for uh, cuda ml because uh, that utilizes gpu and can give you the results in like 3 seconds so that is comparatively uh, better than this uh, cpu approach now let's explore the results here you can see a clear difference of uh, clusters grouping with uh, each other all the attributes are like uh, grouped with each other and uh, there is less overlapping compared to the previous uh, two that is uh, pca and uh, lda so the results are uh, much clearer and uh, you can just use this two dimensional data for uh, any of the machine learning algorithms to classify the handwritten digits with uh, less overlapping as you can able to see you can clearly draw some uh, decision boundary based on this like two dimension if you increase uh, dimension a little means that will also give you a better results compared to this but this is somewhat a better approach if you want to reduce the uh, number of dimensions compared to this lda and uh, pca because this has like less overlapping now let's go to the next one uh, that is u map i also ran this cell now here this is the results of the u map here also the grouping is uh, done well but uh, you can able to clearly see some difference here some Uh, points are like scattered in between but uh, this is like so many points are like overlapped in a narrow basis and for uh, transformation also we are not using the 
uh, output label we are just using the inputs only so it grouped the uh, values uh, pretty well and you can clearly draw a decision line uh, using this also and this has and uh, this can be processed in like a, a few seconds compared to TSNE so if you want to go with uh, CPU approach with um, feature reduction means definitely UMAP is the best you can able to use compared to the above three each has its uh, own pros and cons so you have to check on that and uh, implement uh, whichever suits you find so in the overall video I am saying that uh, UMAP has uh, better results compared to the remaining so you can uh, easily uh, implement this module and uh, you can easily reduce the number of features you are uh, having so that's pretty much it guys so in this video we have seen all the different types of uh, dimensionality reduction techniques so this will be very helpful in uh, dealing with the large data set uh, or uh, you want to visualize the data means uh, this is the better way to do that and uh, that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this see you guys in the next video